Who is your king? In the book of Judges, the nation of Israel um, was fairly lost, I would say. Um, it says this in chapter 21, verse 25. In those days, Israel had no king, and everyone did as he saw fit. Now, without a guide or any form of leadership, Israel went to complete disaster, and everyone did whatever as they wanted, which led to civil war, slavery, and way more death than necessary, to the point where the nation of Israel, at the end of the book of Judges, is basically in a place of mourning. The question is, where are we? Who is our king? Who is guiding our thoughts, our policies for life, how we see others that agree or disagree with us? Who is feeding into this? If it's not Jesus, I guarantee you it is adding to some form of division, bitterness, malice. When we put Jesus into that kingship in our lives, and when people ask who is our king, and we say Jesus, people will know. They'll know by our graciousness, our kindness, our forgiveness, our mercy, and our ability to get along with people we disagree with. People who live a lifestyle that is contrary to either what we believe or what we think may be right or wrong. So the thing is, who is our king? I would argue in the past, I've put people into a pedestal, um, whether it was a YouTuber or somebody else, who was feeding into an idea in my life that didn't bring me joy, it didn't bring me peace, and it didn't allow me to bring peace to people who disagreed with me, but it helped me to bring a sword to destroy those who disagreed with me. I think that as a church, we need to really consider who our king is. And this isn't something for us to listen to and think, I know who this person's king is. This is something for us to consider. Who is our king as a community? And how do we, as a community, change the world? For the nation of Israel, if they had put God as their king, would have been in a very different spot throughout the book of Judges. And they would have experienced the fullness of the blessing God had in store for them. And we too can experience that fullness when we put Jesus into kingship in our community. So I hope you guys find this sweet to the ear. See you later.